I'd like to call our meeting to order. Our, this is me for Thursday, March 28, 2024. And ask for a roll call for quorum, please. Clerk Osborne. Here. Member Perry. Here. Member Malcheski. Here. President Vickers. Here. And Member Kelly is not able to attend. Thank you. So we're going to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'd like to ask uh, for a motion to adopt our agenda, please. So moved. Second. Any changes or additions to the agenda? No. All okay. uh, of board vote as the agenda is presented. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carries 401. Uh, uh, public comment on non agenda items. Have we received cards? Yes. And President Vickers, where would you like people to come for making comment? Oh, gee. Just kind of stand here. Sure. Okay. All right, we have uh, two speaker cards. Is there anybody else wishing to speak? Okay, so we'll call Steve Brown if you want to just come forward. Um, close to Member Malcheski. Okay. Comment? Well, no, it's too close. Uh, not so long ago, uh, you asked our group to reach out to the city to try and help you with the pool project. You wanted us to see if we could get the city to move forward with their own pool. While the odds were heavily stacked against it, we jumped on this and worked tirelessly over the ensuing months. By leveraging our extensive community reach, data, research, and the group's decades of experience, we made slow but steady progress that has now reached a positive conclusion. As we all now know, the City Council voted unanimously to move ahead and build their own pool to support 100% of city-operated programs. That's great news from a city and taxpayer perspective, as doing so is better for the city programs and residents, saves tens of millions of taxpayer dollars over the life of the pool as well. What does all this mean for the school district, though? The good news is that here, too, a similar positive opportunity also exists with the high school pool. Now that the city is moving away and taking its programs and requirements with it, that means nearly all daily users will also be leaving the high school pool. What will remain will only be high school athletes in their aquatics programs. Coaches will get to coach and use the pool whenever they want, and the pool will be available 100% of the time exclusively for high school athletes. That is why this is yet another great opportunity for the school board to revisit this project and properly downsize it. It bears repeating that when you actually do a head count, there are only about 79 high school athletes in the pool over an entire year across all aquatic sports. Given there are different seasons for swimming and water polo as well as for men and women, that means an average of only about 26 kids is in the water over any given season. That usage easily fits into a much smaller pool, and smaller pools are common among the teams we compete with in all over California. Meanwhile, overcrowding at the high school pool has been completely eliminated, coaches have more time to coach, and the athletes have a better training and competition experience each season. A smaller pool that fits within the existing footprint, where the current buildings are completely gutted and updated, but not torn down, would save the district tens of millions of taxpayer dollars over the life of this pool, too. Residents are watching and waiting for district leadership and elected school board officials to change your unyielding position around the mega pool, particularly given your previous actions and one-sided approach to this. I am sure I'm not alone when I say the predetermined path and approach you took throughout this process has been rocky and has only served to significantly damage the district in the public eye. Our next speaker is Gary Kasich. Over here, everybody uh, hi, uh, happy spring. I'm sorry I missed the last board meeting. I was uh, out of town. Um, sort of anticipated a deferral of the contract awards, but uh, requiring the, co the groups to come back to present uh, details, including pool size, was not an unreasonable conclusion. As Steve said, it's, uh, it's clear now that the majority of city residents support a pool targeted to meet the needs of the community rather than sharing a pool uh, as proposed by the district. Multiple surveys, public comments, various meetings now show support for a community pool and opposition to a 50 meter pool at the high school. There's now a building resident voice to simply repair the existing pool. It's a loud voice, but I want to be clear, that's not a proposal that we support. The unanimous 5-0 City Council vote to proceed with plans as a priority for a community pool demonstrates there is a good answer for the city and for the district. And it's good news for this board. Board Member Kelly's not here, but thank you, wherever if you're listening in, for directing us to focus our energies on the city. It was the right approach. 
Residents have weighed in. The city's responded, supporting the majority view, and now making it a priority. The city's moving. That's what you asked for. President Vickers, you were right, and the city has confirmed it. A single pool can address needs of both students and residents. The city has fully endorsed that position and a community pool freeing you up to focus exclusively on needs of student athletes. Board Member Malchewski, you repeatedly commented that knowing the city direction was essential in making an informed decision, and you were right. Now that decision is done. The district will have full use of the pool, so no need to cram multiple teams into the pool rushing to get out early. City programming and a dedicated community pool will ensure all youth get home early. Clerk Osborne, it's clear you want a first-class aquatic facility at the high school for students. So do we. World-class doesn't mean massive in size. Given their zero intent to hold large-scale events, a 35 to 38 meter competitive all deep water pool will provide a world-class complex with good deck space, ample seating, perfect for competitive events. And for everyone, you get to save millions of taxpayer dollars. If done properly, avoid any pool downtime for anyone. You have the opportunity to be heroes to students, to student athletes, to residents, and to demonstrate a commitment to financial prudence. Good luck to you. Any other speakers wishing to make public comment? All right. Thank you. Uh, we have uh, two consent calendar items to consider. The first is just one. Oh, just one. Just one. Okay. Uh, two items have one consent. Do we have public comment on the consent calendar? I see none. Okay. So we have approval of consent calendar item C. Approval of student field trip. Do have any? They just. Uh, Timing, right? right? And so they were just a little bit behind trying to get the timing done. So um, the, uh, we wanted to make sure we were able to get them to you, and it just happened to have this meeting. So we slotted it, otherwise, it wouldn't have had a time. Ordinarily, we don't have questions or discussion on consent, but since this is uh, coming in this situation, if you have a question, go ahead and ask, ask it. I'm just very glad that we can, can do this, and I understand why. They might not have known that the track students would qualify. Yeah. Um, and that's the nature of working with students. So I am yeah. very understanding and and why he usually very able to do does this. it even if he doesn't know. And this year he just said he didn't, based on kind of who he had, he didn't think that that would. Yeah. But then he was super surprised. So good for so them for coming Good for them, right? Yeah, exactly. Great. I think it was a trophy meet, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah he qualified yeah. a trophy meet. Yep. So um, I have a motion, please. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carries by vote. We now have a closed session. Is there public comment on closed session? Which, let me read the title. The public Employee Evaluation Superintendent for Government Code 54957. Is there a public comment on this item? Nope, seeing none. And ask for a motion to adjourn to closed session, please. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No, carries 401. Thank you. Thank you.